The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue Hey, good morning. What is up, my buttercups? It is Amy and... Yeah. Gerald. Mwah. My love. How were you sleeping last night? Good. Good. Ready to have a good day today? You gonna have fun today? Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, so we are coming to you on a... What day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday. See, I wouldn't even know what day of week was without you. <laughs> it is coming to you on Thursday morning, and we are rocking and ready to go. You want to get your best, little man? Uh, yeah, we're getting this grind on, doing the work thing, and he's doing the school thing, all that great stuff. And next week, I just got my schedule. I got another five days next week. So I got two full weeks of pay coming to me. Cha-ching! So uh, that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so we are going to get the day started. You all right? right? Yep, we're going to get the day started, and I will see you in the car in a few. Hey, guys. All right, so we are in the car. We're waiting for the bus to get here. Right, dude? All right, so you want to talk to us? Tell us what the rules are, darling. And we use our. Where? Not our. Yeah. And there is no. Here. And no. Here. And no. And no. Here. And we keep our. Here. And our. That. Our vest. Very, very, very good. Oh, he wants to make some faces. <clears throat> Last couple of videos, he hasn't really wanted to make a lot of faces, you know. When he doesn't show a lot of interest in getting taped, I don't like taping him because I do not want to force it on him. Oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. The, the bus is actually early today. God bless my heart. All right, let me get him out of here. I wonder what happened with Melissa today. I wonder if she's off today. And there goes my boobaloo. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Alrighty. Yep. So, I actually have time to go get my coffee this morning. Hooray. So, I'm going to do that now. And Alright, guys. Out. Yeah. So, got my coffee order. Let's hope it'll be ready when I get there. See, I like this Dunkin' Donuts app that I have. Um, another one of my famous app plugs. No, I'm not getting paid for it. Um, and I'm not... It, ever since that whole debacle over Christmas holiday with Dunkin' Donuts, it always left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth kind of a thing, you know? Um, but... I gotta say, the Dunkin' Donuts app, if they were actually follow it correctly, you know, it's actually pretty cool because you can order everything ahead of time. Just go by, you swing, you pick it up, boom, you know, it's there. That's the way it should work. Normally it does, but for some reason on occasion, they have an occasion where I have to stand there and wait for even on to go work. Why? Well, I have no idea. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get this thing started with some caffeine and, uh, Head to the store. Oh yeah, what the heck's gonna happen today? I'm tired. I'm telling you, man, these full weeks, I'm not used to them, that's for sure. I mean, I don't mind working them because I definitely need the money in the hours, so there's no question in that. Um, but body-wise, it's killing me. It is absolutely killing me. Um, next week, she's got me scheduled like five days next week. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, that's two weeks in a row at five days each day. So, I mean, I'm that's a nice little chunk of change check, at least for me, you know. Get some bills paid with it, you know. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we're gonna go get my coffee, get this day started, and um, yeah, see y'all guys in a bit. Hey guys, all right, well, they actually worked this morning, so my coffee was ready when I got there, which was nice. So, I think part of the problem with the on to go app that I'm having. I think what needs to happen is like when I get to a certain point half at uh, halfway mark, that's when I hit the ready to pick up button. Because when you order, you order it and everything it gives you an order number, and then when you're like ready to pick up your drink, you just hit the button that says ready to, for pickup, and then they'll they'll start making it. You know, so, yeah. So we're uh, so we're good to go this morning. We're actually on a decent time right now. We're not rushing. I'm pretty much like on point at this point. 
Um, already got my coffee and everything else. Jared's on his way to school and it's only 6.43, so which is really, really good. Um, one sad note, our, our last fishy Clyde is not looking good. I do not think he's going to make it through the day. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, seriously, I've had these goldfish for like three years and goldfish usually don't even last that long and to boot, they were all feeder fish and they were a rescue. So, I mean, you know, at least they got to live a happy life, I guess, you know, um, I started out with seven of them and Clyde is the last one to go out of the bunch. And, uh, I don't know if I want to restart the fish tank up or not, or I maybe just do an atrium. I don't know. I, I, I haven't really decided yet. Um, I want to do the grieving for Clyde for a little bit first. Um, so what I want to do is make sure, you know, I get all that cleaned out, get the pump cleaned up and everything else. So that way it's prepared for the next time I go to start the tank up. I don't, I mean, I want to start the tank up because Jared, we've left, we've created some kind of a format with him. You know, that's his pet responsibility, if you will. Uh, mommy feeds the cat, and Jared feeds the fish. You know, that's kind of like our routine in the morning. And my biggest thing is I don't want it interrupting his routine that much. I don't know how much that'll really affect him with this last fish dying and not having to feed them in the morning. That might really throw him. I don't, maybe not, you know, but uh, all I'll know is if I was like when he's done, you know. So, yeah, we're gonna. Get the day started. A little bit of a sad no. Mr. Clyde is not going to make it probably through the day. And he was acting weird this morning too, because like I went over to check on him and he's just kinda like chilling in the same spot. He's been not doing good at all. Like you could tell over the last few days either he's been really, really depressed or he just managed to really get sick. Um, or it just may be old. I don't know. I I mean I don't know what the expected lifespan of a of a goldfish is, but you know, I mean, it's possible, you know, he's just outlived his age, you know, kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see what happens when we get home and all that great stuff. And I'll find out from Jared what we should do. I mean, I was even thinking about maybe getting like just a tank full of, of neons. You know, I love the little neons, the little, little sprouty fish that fly around. So, but I don't think they live very long. So, um, and I think you have to buy special food and all that crap, so I don't know that's uh, a feasible thing. Angelfish are very pretty, but they're very fragile. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to think on it, maybe go to a fish store, see what's available. I would even like to look and get a salt water tank, but I know there's just so much work that goes into that. And I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be cool enough to handle all that, because that's just a whole lot of work. For a pet that I'm not into. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but yeah, I just don't, you know, I don't want to be spending like three quarters of my life working on a salt work tank, you know what I mean? So, and I, for one, I understand a lot of the fish that go into salt work tanks are, tend to be a little more expensive too, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can get your opinion. Comment down below what kind of fish you think would be good for Jared. What kind of thing you think he would like. He had, right now, we've done goldfish for like the last three years. We've had the same fish. And like I said, Clyde's passing. So, you know, we're we're contemplating the idea of starting a new tank. I don't know what kind of fish I want to get. So, yeah, make that comment below what you think, you know, Jared will enjoy. You know, if you think there'll be something that's more interactive or whatever the case is. Are there more fish that are more social friendly than others? I don't know that. So, uh, yeah, be interested to find out. You'll have to all let me know. So, uh, yeah, so I'm on my way to work now, and I'm going over Rumbly Road. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to head to work, and I will catch y'all in a little while. Hey, guys, I don't know if you can see behind me, but this broad that is behind me is literally up on my bumper. Like, she is, I'm ready to crawl down to 10 miles an hour just to slow down and piss her off. Because she's really started ticking me off. She's like right on my tail. If I stop it suddenly, man, the back of my car is going to be totaled. It's going to look like a freaking accordion. God forbid if I have this big sudden stop. So, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd like point that out just in case I do get into an accident. Just so that because this woman's like literally on my ass. It's ridiculous. Um, hey, guys. All right. Well, I'm safely at work. That wackadoodle was behind me twice. She almost freaking hit me. 
and it was not like I was dragging or anything. I was so, I'm so mad. Because you know what? I, I would appreciate it because I just would have got out of the car and popped it right in the damn face, you dumbass. I it was so mad. Because, like, we're, we're getting to a red light. And there's a car in front of me. I So I stop so I don't hit the car in front of me. And, like, we're at a red light where you're not even supposed to turn. It's a no turn on red sign. And the woman's sitting there honking her horn and... Like, she's like, as she's stopping, you hear her tear, tires, like, squealing every time I was waiting for it to hit me. I, it was that weird. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. She trailed me all the way to Shady Brook. And then, as I made my last turn, she did it again. I mean, like, I stopped because there was a car coming in the opposite direction, and I had the red light. I wasn't going to go through the red light just to appease her. And she was trying to get around me. I mean, she was driving like a crazy woman. I don't know if she was late or she just... They know how to drive. I don't know what the problem is. But, lady, let me tell you. You up in Yardley, Pennsylvania, driving like that, and the cops see that, they're going to hang you by your toenails. Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's just, like, people out there that should not be on the road. And and she, it was a young girl, too. I think she was just young and frisky and, like, the speed. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. But, yeah, so we're at work, safe and sound, all that great stuff. Ready to get my day started. So, um, catch y'all in a little while. Hey guys, alright, so I'm done my work grind for the day, and I'm heading on my way home. Jared had a little bit of an incident in school, nothing too traumatic. Um, he was in gym, and you know, he's been doing pretty good all day, she said, and he just decided to start hitting his head again. And she said as soon as it started, it left just as quickly, she's like it was very easily redirected. And she said, well, if you want to pick him up, you can, or I can put him on the bus. And I said, well, I'm on my way home anyway, so I'll just grab him up. So, uh, yeah, so that's about that. We're just going to go home after that, I think. I, I, debating on whether I should go to the store to pick up, like, a pizza for him or something. I don't know. I think he has pizza rolls at home, but I'm not 100% positive, and I don't want to get caught with no pizza rolls and then all three of them, you know? So, um... Yeah, so we're going to see what the, the afternoon takes us. It is absolutely gorgeous out. This weather is just beyond beautiful right now. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to enjoy it. We'll probably end up going outside with Matt for a little bit today. That'll be nice. And, uh, you know, I might even motivate enough. I think I might even try to get my plants planted today because it's nice. I'm just hoping it's not real muddy. Because if it's real muddy, then it's kind of like a... But we'll see. We'll see what the condition of the ground is and all that great stuff. So I'll give you all a show if uh, I manage to get all the rest of the plants done. So see y'all in a bit. Hey guys, how's everything going? It is Amy again and Jared Love. So did we have a good day today? Hmm? Did we have a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Got to hang outside for a little bit, right? Kicked the ball around with actually one of the neighbors for a little bit. That was actually very nice. Like to see you do that more often. And uh, yeah, he he was a very good boy this afternoon. And him wanted pizza rolls for dinner and all that. So I obliged. And now the little man looks like he's ready to fall asleep. Are you tired? Oh my goodness! Yes, you are tired. All right, dude. So you want to close this vlog out for me? What do we have to do? Up, up. Right? Like. Mm hmm. Surprise. Mm hmm. Secret. And ring that bell. Ring that bell. Yeah. That way everyone knows when we're going to be posting more videos, right? Right, dude? Right, dude. <laughs> he is like three sheets of the wind. He looks very, very sleepy. What are you doing? So, uh, yeah, we're not going to keep it too long. Give me a kiss. I love you. You gonna go sleep? You gonna go sleep now? Yeah. All right. Say good night. Say good night. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you are all tucked in and ready to go, little man. Okay. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Get some sleep, baby. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we ended up going outside for a little bit after, uh, we got home. I picked him up, and, um, he was fine and everything. There was no major incidences or anything, like, really 
over the top major going on. Um, just I was happened to have been on the way home, and I'm like, you know what? He was, you know, in the mood or whatever. I'll pick him up. So, uh, yeah, we came home and we relaxed for a little bit, and then. Matthew came over about 3.30 and went outside for a little bit. He went to go outside since it was so beautiful out today. It, we got it up into the 70s. It was nice and sunny out. Um, the only thing is it was a little on the breezy side, so it got a little chilly. Um, but, yeah, he did great. We were outside, but the whole time we were outside, all he wanted to do was wander and pace. Like, he really didn't want to go outside and do anything, like plant, like, sticks or do anything like that, you know. So... As we're standing there and he's just doing his thing, pacing back and forth, Matthew and I are talking. The little boy across the way initiated play, which was nice. Um, he just had a ball out and he was kicking it around. And like real cute and like snidey, like he kicked it down the hill to kind of like kick it to Jared. And uh, I said, oh, I said, Jared, you got to go kick the ball back. And he did. He went and kicked the ball back. So they like kicked it back and forth a couple of times or whatever. And then Jared was done. He was over it. And uh, the little boy is very nice. Uh, he's probably a third of Jared's age. He's maybe five, six years old, you know. So all he was doing was kicking the ball around. And he's like, he don't like to play, does he? <laughs> and I said, no. I said, he does. I said, he just likes to do it on his terms. And I said, once in a while, he like kicking the ball around. And uh, he's like, oh, okay. You know, he's real cute. And I said to him, I said, I appreciate you coming over. I said, you know, you're more than welcome when you see Jared to come over and play with him if he wants to play. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's one of our newer neighbors and I haven't really got myself to gotten to introduce myself or anything yet. I might, I should really, really kind of do that. And especially if the boys are going to start playing together or something. But um, the little one, he's very, very sweet, very sweet little boy, very nice and very, very polite, you know. And, like, when he first kicked the ball down, he was like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, you're fine. I said, it's okay. You're outside playing. You're supposed to be kicking around outside, you know. And his mother was, like, kind of looking out the window and just keeping an eye on him and stuff like that, you know. Um, but, yeah. So, we, you know, we got him to play a little tiny bit, at least. Oh, my God. Ugh. But I'm tired. Man, it was a day, let me tell you. It wasn't such a, a bad day today at work. It was just busy. Busy, 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 busy. Lots and lots and lots of people came in. Um, again, though, it was gorgeous weather out. So everyone wants to come out, get their lunch. They go outside. They eat at the tables and stuff like that. And they enjoy the fresh air, you know. Um, then not to mention that, we also have our landscapers that come in. And, man, the garden center was just packed all day long. Um I, I was taking calls all day long. I'd say out of 10 phone calls, nine of them were for the garden center for landscapers ordering stuff. So uh, it got pretty busy. Um, yeah, so I'm tired. Hey. Excuse me. You knew little man, he was tired. So I'm going to close out this vlog for the evening because I am exhausted. I'm going to try to see if I can get this editing done. Just doing a daily thing now that I'm getting a little bit more material. I'm able to do it on a daily instead of every two days. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get it. So, uh, other than that, uh, like my little man said, like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Turn and change just like your mind